What's up, my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And as all of you know by now, we not only have the new apparel event going on right now, we also have the global event Golden Bullet, which began last night, and it is by far the most popular one in the game. Therefore, today, I wanted to highlight one of my favorite builds to use not only in the game, but especially during this global event, because in my opinion, this event was built for a run and gun play style. So today, I wanted to show you one of my favorites. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button make sure you turn those notifications on if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and remember we are currently having a giveaway for a playstation 5 to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on twitter and the winner will be announced on october 2nd of this year as always, my friends, we're going to jump right into the build. However, one thing I mention at the beginning of every build video I put together is I want to remind especially new and returning players that this is just a template. This is one of so many different ways you can put together a run and gun build. The most important thing is to truly take your time and make a build your own. Now we'll get into a little more detail about that at the end of the video. Right now let's just jump into the build starting with the specialization. I'm using Gunner and I'm doing that for the typical reasons. You get that extra armor on kill. You can use the Banshee Pulse if you want. However you don't need to do that because we're using Hunter's Fury for our gear set. And remember regardless of which specialization you choose always have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree. That way you're always getting a 15% weapon damage bonus regardless of which weapon you're using. Now my primary the primary weapon for this build is the Dark Winter SMG. Absolutely love this weapon. Now I know it is a DZ exclusive, however right now, because we have the global event going on, this is your opportunity to earn stars and you take those stars and you buy named caches and legacy caches. And the reason you want to focus in on those is both of those types of caches can have DZ exclusives in them. Which means you may pick up something you've wanted to get for a long time from the Dark Zone without ever having to set foot in the Dark Zone itself. And always remember, even with Countdown. You do have that option of earning countdown resources and buying named caches as well. So right now it is a perfect time to try to get these weapons that you've been trying to get for a long time. My secondary weapon for this build is the Scorpio Shotgun. Again, another one of my favorite weapons in the game. Now this one is Expertise Level 6. It's really the only one I've specced into in regards to Expertise. I have not gotten to play as much as I've wanted to, but now is a perfect time, as I've said before, to jump back in. Now this weapon is an absolute beast, and once again, with this event going on, you can take this time, earn stars, and buy exotic caches as well, and hopefully get things you haven't been able to get as yet. Now moving on to the gear itself, you can see I'm running 4 Hunter's Fury, one Sokolov and the Memento Backpack. So for those of you that may be new to a run and gun style of gameplay, I cannot stress enough how amazing this gear set is. You can see the two piece gives you 15% shotgun and SMG damage, the three piece is 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill, and the four piece is Apex Predator. And that's the one that really sets this gear set apart from others because when you take out an NPC, it disorients them, you get extra weapon damage, and when you combine that with this global event, you will absolutely be melting enemies left and right. Now moving on to the body armor, it's the one piece of Sokolov. Now I've chosen that because I'm using the SMG as my primary. Now if you were to use a shotgun as your primary, you'd want to use a piece of Badger Tough, and I'm using the talent Intimidate, which is going to give you extra weapon damage when you have bonus armor. Now I know with Title Update 15 they made a change to it where now the weapon damage stacks over time instead of just giving it to you right out of the gate. However, even with those changes, this is incredibly powerful and still can get the job done. Moving on to the holster, the knee pads, and the gloves. They are the three remaining pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set. Now for the holster, I've chosen my core attribute to be armor only because I wanted a little more survivability in case I get tagged from an NPC that actually has the golden bullet activated. And on all of these pieces, I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. We'll go over the stats at the end of the video. But again, a lot of this may be dependent on the gear you have. And if you're even close to these numbers, you should be totally good to go. Finally, my friends, we make our way to the backpack, and in my opinion, this bag and the Golden Bullet Global Event were totally designed for each other, because, you know, when, when you combine the trophies that you get from taking out NPCs, and you add that to the different buffs you're getting when you get the Golden Bullet, you are absolutely wrecking enemies left and right. Now, if you don't have this bag as yet, I suggest a second piece of Sokolov with a talent close and personal, because that's going to give you a weapon damage bonus anytime you take out an NPC within 7 meters. As far as my skills go for this build, 
build. I'm using my two favorite. I have the Assault Drone because it's a great distraction to NPCs and puts out damage as well. And I'm also using the Crusader Shield. Now, I don't really use that that often with this build. However, there have been a few times where it's totally bailed me out because when you're in the crosshairs of an enemy that has the Golden Bullet activated, they can light you up pretty quick. So I do like having it. And I do suggest it for people that are just jumping into this style of build. Now, as far as my stats go, you can see I'm sitting at 57.5 crit hit chance. Remember the max is 60 and I'm at 110 crit hit damage and I also have 30% armor on kill and again that really does help out anytime you're in this game running with a build like this. Now at this point there happen to be a few recommendations I'd like to pass along. First of all, and I said this at the beginning of the video, but you always want to really take your time and make a build your own. So let's say if you look at this build and decide you know what you don't need that much armor, you want more weapon damage, you can do that. Or on the flip side you may want a little more survivability so make sure you try these things out and really put something together that suits your game style. There is no one perfect build. It doesn't work that way. Some people need more armor. Some people want more weapon damage. Some people want to use the talent, you know, glass cannon. Others need to use unbreakable. Really take your time, my friends. Put out different variations and make something that you enjoy. Most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the family that we have here at the channel. So as always, if you have any tips or tricks you want to pass along, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. Now one thing I want to mention really quick and it has to do with the footage you're looking on screen. The last time I did a video like this, I was showing this actual, you know, Warhound convoy. And remember, when the back of the truck opens, if you're farming this spot, NPCs will continue to spawn no matter what as long long as you don't take out the mini tank. So that's why you're seeing NPC wave after wave after wave is because in the back corner you have that little mini tank I'm not touching so the NPCs will keep pouring out. And for those of you that may not have any idea what I'm talking about, at the end of this run I will show you the exact location on the map. This happens to be one of my favorite things to do just during the event because again you're just wrecking stuff left and right. It's so much fun. So again my friends enjoy the event, stack those stars and hopefully you get a lot of gear that you've been looking for. With all that being said I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone in distress.